Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. In the last episode, we began our adventure here on Natural Plains. Now we're moving on to the second world over this way, which of course is going to be Ever Bay Coast. The ocean looks so beautiful. We should go for a swim while we're here. <laughs> I agree, Elf One. But first, we're gonna start with our first level, Abandoned Beach. Okay, looks like fun. We gotta clear the stage, save the hidden model of these, and a couple of mystery quests. So, let's get started. Hopefully it all goes well. <laughs> But yeah, we're already getting started with the cool beach level here. Whoa, it's so pretty. I love the water. All the fish and the coral and stuff. This is so cool. So I can't wait to run around and sort of experience this. We still have the bomb ability from last episode, but I think that I'll probably end up losing that pretty quick. Want to switch it out for something else. We <laughs> got the little swimmer guys, they're cute. I don't think they give an ability. I guess we could try to find out. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, always worth trying now. And I wonder, can I dive under the water or can I only be above? I'm pressing different buttons here. Looks like I can't. That's so cute though. Whoa, look at Kirby go. We can do, how did I do that? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. We can do a little twirl move. Okay, over this way, we can grab a couple of coins. And I got rid of that guy. I wonder if I could have done something with this box. Oh, there's a, a coconut here. Oh, I can kick it. Yeah, I can't swallow it for some reason, but kicking it seems to do something. I had a bottle in there. Crack, open three knock knock nuts. All right, I'll work on it. Okay, we got bomb again. That's good. Whoa, there's a big crocodile over there or something. There's a watermelon in there too. So we'll head over there to figure out what that is in just a moment, but I figure in the meantime, we got a whole bundle of coins waiting for us. Awesome. Hmm. See, this level sort of seems expansive so far. I'll toss those over. That was good. Just gonna grab those other two coins. And I do see one of those things. Okay. So first things first, I'll try to hit you with the bomb just to see what does that do? It doesn't seem like it does anything. You're like invincible. Okay, let's try the cutter guy then. And also, I see this over here. Might as well grab it. Got ourselves another capsule. Or I guess our first capsule today. So can I hop on top of this guy or something, or is that just gonna hurt me? I sort of missed him. I'm very curious, because it could be something. We also have another coconut or whatever. Whoa, ah, ah, okay, don't do that. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> I thought I could hop on top of him. That didn't work. Okay, he's just invincible. All right, leave it be then. Oh, I missed it. Okay, come on. There you go, and we get a delicious meal for it. So, got some of our health back. That was an interesting situation. And what else do we have going on around here? All the environments have been so wonderfully detailed. There's just always so much going on in a nice way. So we have the double shock room here, but there's also our newly upgraded volcano fire. Both are looking good. All the fish are swimming away. Everything's so lush. Whoa, we got wild bonkers. Oh, so does this mean we have hammer ability in this game? Whoa. Okay, that's not good. Uh, can I get out of here? That wasn't too bad. Hit him with the fire. Oh man, he's worked at. Oh man, ah. I keep hitting him. He's almost down. And got him. Okay, so, oh no, wrong button. I'm gonna release that and pick this one up. And look at that, we have hammer. Awesome, this is our first time seeing Hammer on this game. We can charge it up. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Look at what we have in here, a banana. Should probably try to like hit the tree to see if that knocks over another coconut or knock knock nut. Hmm. Okay, I think we're good to move forward. Still just looking around for other things, you know? Pick your other little fish. Gotcha. Okay, there seems to be more than one way to go then. There's a, there's a, a room over there, but also a couple of enemies. Let me grab that coin. Okay, that wasn't anything. Oh, I hear a waddle dee that needs help. Probably down here then? Hey, buddy. Ta-da! Save the hidden waddle dees, one out of three. So that's good. I wonder if there's anything else up there. I don't think so, but Always worth checking. Oh no, I fell. <laughs> okay, it looks like it was, oh no, I got back up, sweet. Doesn't look like it was much yet. 
So, back over this way, there was a door with three stars over it. And I know that the stars usually indicate something. I believe that if it's one star, we can go back through the door. But if it's a three star, it's a one-way door. So no matter what, we should go through it last. Oh, look at the little sand castle. You can stomp it down. Destroy the animal sand cap sculpture. Okay, that's cool. So that's one of the second ones. So we're still looking for a third one somewhere around here. So we'll keep going. Hopefully we find the next knock knock nut as well. Another hammer building in case we need to scare the crab away. Hmm. I guess for right now let's try to avoid the little vortex. Cause I probably wouldn't be good to get trapped in. Gotcha. Oh, that got me. No, I got, no, no, wait, hold on. Oh, that was scary. Grab the hammer again. Gotcha. I'm gonna get over that real quick, because I do see something here. Whoa, all sorts of goodies. Bunch of coins, some watermelon. I'll gladly take it all. Oh, look at the little fox sleeping up here. I'm sorry, I gotta get rid of you, but I need to see what's up here. This is like a whole secret area. I wonder if there'll be another waddle dee. Ooh, secret cave. Okay, I definitely wanna go in there. My curiosity is peaked. Huh. Okay, the hammer ability again. Then I guess I, well, I gotta race it or something. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's like timed. Go, 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 go. Don't slow down. Almost there. Hold on tight, Waddle Dee. I got it. Awesome. Okay, save the hidden waddle dees, two out of three. Good work, good work. Okay, so I think we're good. We can continue down this little ravine. Get rid of that guy. So this thing is still undefeatable, I'm going to guess. Let's play it safe, climb up this ladder. We'll get another capsule, that's two out of three. Well, I say, I, I don't know if there's always three, but so far it seems like there's typically three. Oh no, oh, ah! I'm fine, I'm fine. We made it out of there. Oh, now this looks tricky. No. Oh. Okay, go, go, go. I wanna get rid of you, just because there's less obstacles on. I think I made it. Oh, and we could get Needle. Haven't got Needle yet today, so might as well try. Hopefully that's what we need, but... Or, <laughs> yeah, I hope we need the Needle. Whoa, okay, so we're sort of back into like a city area. So this whole city's been flooded. We're at the top of the building. That's interesting. Oh, and get mouthful mode again. It's the letter O. Ah, ring mouth, look at Kirby. That is so goofy looking. Ta-da! <laughs> Complete the side of the rooftop, that's so cool. Whoa, we get a bunch of coins for it. Oh, I love it. Whoa. So it works as sort of like a I, I think the word would be a diaphragm in a way. I'm not really sure, but it basically, it pulls back and it pushes out a bunch of air. That's so neat. Oh, and we can use that to activate the fan over here and get ourselves a couple of coins. There you go. That crocodile staring me down, I better not fall. Oh boy. Gotcha. There's another fan over this way. Well, this gonna raise some more stuff up. I'm a very big fan of getting free collectibles. We can ride the boat? <laughs> whoa, oh, that that hurt. Oh, whoa, but I can speed through it. Oh, no. Um, Can I go through you? Whoa, I can! Look at that. All right, we're going. Oh, there's another knock, knock, knock. That's the last one. So there we go. I think we got all the bonus missions done if we can find the last Waddle Dee. That was crazy. There are, there is the main Waddle Dees over there. So we're right at the end of the level. Oh, but right here, look what I found, a ton of extra stuff. So we can finally get rid of these guys. Okay, so I'll land in a moment, don't worry. I just want to get rid of you. Oh my, it's a little difficult to steer at times. I'm still getting used to it. But I guess we could just jump off, no problem. Uh, Save Waddle Dee. <laughs> Kirby looks so goofy. And I wonder, 
if I spit this out and I spit this out. No, not, that's not what I wanted. Oh no. I wanted to take, no, it, it's, it's, very, it's being very weird. I wanted to just take the ice guy. No, come on. <laughs> Why is it being so silly? There, that's all I wanted. I wonder if I can scoot over the ice with this. Yes, I can. Wow, that's cool. So now we can go back a little bit easier with this. Of course, Kirby could swim as it was, but this is just fun. I think we can go a little bit faster this way too, at least for a moment. Grabbing all the coins on our way back. So I suppose I could go grab those waddle but let me check over here real fast to make sure there wasn't anything else. I don't think there would be because we got everything. Then maybe there's a couple of coins or something. Or another capsule, I'm still looking for the third one, I believe. It's gotta be around somewhere. Hmm. There's another one of the mouthful things, but maybe I did already get it. I don't really see it around, but we don't really have to collect every single one of those because we will find them, or at least we'll get stuff through coins as well. So there we go, I think we're fine. Unless there's anything extra over here, but it doesn't seem like it. We're good to save the last three. Okay, you're free. So that was a very awesome first impression to this world. Very fun level. We cleared it in wild mode, of course. That's some extra coins. Okay, so with that done, we do open the capsules we did collect, like Big Kabu. And. Oh, this is a new one. Jab Hog. Charge those points up, then zing. Let them fly. Jab Hog is famous in the world of its spiky spines, or in the new world for its spiky spines. They were short and cute when I was young but they eventually grew into dangerous needles. It'll jab anything that gets too close, so approach with caution. Very nice. So yeah, there's our first level fully complete. I enjoyed it. And hopefully we can continue enjoying more stuff as we tackle the next levels coming up. So right over here we have level two, Concrete Isles. Okay, and all nine Waddle Dees that were in that level are saved. All Waddle Dees saved. Okay, pretty good stuff. And some of these bonus missions are popping up. I think we'll follow the same pattern we did in the last episode, where we'll focus on all the main levels first, and then we'll do all those bonus challenges. Okay, so let's hop into level two here, Concrete Isles. Whoa, so this looks like a more industrial area. Of course, we need to find the three hidden missions as we get through it. So this one might end up getting a little bit more challenging. Yeah, would you look at this? Very industrial. So we'll look around a little bit and see what we can accomplish. I could, of course, just freely sort of scoot around with this. It feels so open, and that's so interesting for a Kirby game, in my opinion. I wonder if this will still, yeah, it'll still try to suck me up even if I'm on the ice. This guy's new. Can we get him? Oh yeah, I can get him. He's tough, though. Oh boy. Okay, we got him. Send him flying. <laughs> that's one way to deal with it. Oh, hi, bird. Oh, I scared him. Great three seabirds. I mean, I guess I agree to them. I feel like I scared them off more than anything. Do you have an ability? You don't, okay. The little squid, I didn't think so, but couldn't really recall. Okay, whoa, watch it. See, that hurt me, but it didn't hurt you. There you go. So I'm a little beat up to start things off here. What is this green thing? Uh, oh, I need to find five of them, okay. I guess I'll keep looking. Then there's another one right over here. Oh gosh. Oh, actually, I keep pressing the wrong button because I'm trying to press the minus button to drop my ability. Because I wanted to get the bomb guys. Because I think that'll be an ability, right? In other Kirby games, it is the bomb ability. So gotta look out for more birds. Oh gosh, I am not doing so at this level. Okay, they are not happy. Gotcha. That was, that was a bit better. Happy with that. Okay, I'm just gonna chill on the platform for a moment. Then we can run across. And then I need to drop that, pick this up, and boom, it's crash ability, which should get rid of everybody in one go, but it's like a one-time use ability. Yeah, so we're back to normal Kirby now. But hey, we got all five of these. It makes a green star. Whoa, it's lifting the crane. That's cool, so we get a little reward for it. Don't mind if I do. Is there a Waddle Dee in there? That must be so scary. Being on a treasure chest at the bottom of the ocean, glad we could save you. There are four hidden Waddle Dees in this level, so I'm guessing it's a bit of a longer one. 
Okay, I got you. And some food, which I actually really needed, so glad I could get that. I haven't seen any more of the birds. That one bird was sitting on the water, but I'm sure they could be anywhere. Birds are typically pretty good at getting to different places, seeing how they can fly and all. Okay, so what do we, oh, can we? Is this a new ability? Wait, can we, we, we dig with these guys? Whoa, this is new. I don't think this has been in a Kirby game before. I'm digging. Oh, this is so much fun. And then pop out, boom, gotcha. Oh gosh. Whoa, that's so interesting. So along with Ranger, this is a whole new ability. Get a capsule, some food, and some more food. Don't mind if I do. So we'll have to dig around, see what we can uncover. Right now though, I think we need to move to the next little island, which is right over here. Okay. And I guess we just pop up onto you, that was cool. I like it. And we will, so I can still use like the, the pointy end of the, the drill to do stuff like that. And here's another capsule, two so far. We'll see if we find any more. Oh, and there's another one of the seabirds. There you go. Three, three seabirds, two out of three. And we have more of these. Just gonna go right past you. Yeah, whoa, dodge out please. Oh gosh, we can even sort of charge in mid midair. That was crazy. <laughs> that, I like that. I'll have to get used to it a little bit, but it seems like an interesting way to move around. Hop up here real quick, dig back down. That's awesome. Whoa, <laughs> the scissor lift mouth. Okay, so we can change our height. This is so neat. Okay, we'll grab that coin, but then shrink down to avoid that spiny guy. Uh, it's a volleyball. Okay, so I guess I spit out? Whoa, and then drill under and get another piece. That was interesting. So I suppose I'm supposed to go over there if I didn't miss one of the pieces of the star. So where was that? Oh, probably up here. Oh no, I'm running out of, running out of juice. Watch out. So I guess I have to get up here, dig under, pop back out and then dig back in. There we go, I got it figured out. So that big cream's gonna move. And look at that, we got another reward for it. Don't mind if I do. That's gonna be another Waddle Dee saved. So we have two more left to go. I don't see too much more to do here except for moving over there, I'm just trying to make sure. Got these electrical lines that sort of submerged in the water. Oh, there's a, oh, I didn't see the bird. But what about that over there? Can I just, there's an island just chilling out. I wonder how I get over to that. Is this gonna bring me far away? Oh no, I might have missed something then. Cause there was, there was an island over there. Oh no, okay, don't do that. <laughs> don't just jump off the edge. I may have missed something. I just didn't see a way over there. I thought that maybe the, the star was gonna get me there. It still might later on, so let's not give up hope, but definitely not what I was expecting. Okay, there's another piece of star. Can get rid of you. It takes a couple of hits. Gotcha. That's two out of three. Oh no. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, much better. Oh, this one has a big star. So where will this bring me? Whoa, up here. Okay, I'm a little lost, but I can take this pipe. Sure, I'm pipe mouth. <laughs> Kirby looks so silly. I'm rolling, whoa, and then jump. Oh my gosh, wow. Pat must hurt, Kirby's flattened. You okay, buddy? That's another waddle to be freed. Yikes, are you okay, Kirby? And there's the end of the level, right over there. So it does make me concerned that I've missed a couple of things. Yeah, I definitely did. Huh. Okay, gotcha. Because this is where I just was, I believe. So I'll continue for now, but we'll have to find a way back. Or like, we'll have to replay through the level. Ow, why am I doing that? I should just dig under. And hopefully, 
Oh, there's a maximum tomato. Dig up a maximum tomato. Okay, so that was actually one of the the quests. Interesting. See, I'll go ahead and grab these three. We'll finish the level for now, but I need to find a way to get to that one island. Yeah, yeah, yeah stage cleared. So three out of four waddledies. And what will this one be? Make landfall on the Isle of Treasure. So that's what we were looking at. There's an Isle of Treasure. We need to find a way to get there. I didn't see an easy opening, but maybe somewhere. Ooh, this is new. The Alival Mall sign. This was the logo for the Alival Mall, owned by the Alival Holding Company, making life even livelier. What was their corporate slogan? They ran a wide range of businesses, entertainment, arenas, food shops, service industries. Now the remains of those businesses can be found in all kinds of places, empty and alone. That's so foreboding in a way. And hey, we got copy. What happened to everybody who was here? What? Uh, where did everybody go? Very curious. Hopefully we can understand more as we continue through the game. Scale the cement summit is what we'll do in the next level. But first, our business is not done here. We got eight out of the 10 Kirby's. Let's get those other two. There is still some more of these popping up. We'll be saving those for later. Let's hop back in. Oh, I see. So the island was right over there. There's a little post here that fell over. I guess I just swimmed over. I just, I swim over. <laughs> That's all I had to do. So I must've made it a little too complicated. Sorry about that. But this is such a cute little island. Look at this, we have the uh, make landfall on the Isle of Treasure. We find this last Waddle Dee. So it should be technically two saved. And look at this, a huge chunk of coins waiting for us too. I don't want to ruin this guy's day on the on the beach. Oh no, I got him, I'm sorry. But I guess we could take this star back. That's so neat. So now I just have to complete the level normally. We should be good to go. Okay, so we got those two all of saved. I also unlocked an extra capsule, which gave me bouncy. Okay, so now back to the mean world. We should be able to move on to the third level, which is right over here. After we send those two guys back, of course. Oh, Waddle Dee saved. Much better. Always prefer to do it on the first time through, but you can't always. Okay, scale the cement summit. Let's give this a try. This one looks like it might be a bit more of a challenge. If we're scaling upwards, it's always, you know, a chance we might fall. So we'll give this a, our best try. I'll take the needle ability right away, because I don't have an ability at the moment. Ooh, there's a little thing to stand on, nice. Okay, I already found some extras. So obviously our goal is to go up, so if I could explore everything else first, probably the best, or for the best, ow. That hurt, I didn't realize that was right above me. Gotcha. <laughs> now you're gonna fall all the way down. Hopefully I don't I don't fall in your footsteps here. Okay, so. Up here, whoa, watch out for that. What do we got going on? I can spike at you and remove three wanted posters, one out of three. So I'll have to look out for those, but I, I'd figure they're pretty easy to notice, so that shouldn't be too bad. Oh, whoa, watch it. I do see an area to go down over to the left. We'll keep that in mind as we're continuing forward. Got some extra health. What about this box? Oh, it's opening it up down here, and there's a, a blueprint. You got the Clutter Needle Blueprint. Now you can evolve the Needle ability. Take it to Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop. Okay, we'll definitely have to do that some point soon. For right now, though, I would like to just roll through, defeat all these guys. I love the tiny little star blocks. Haven't seen those, really. Oh, so what is that explosion doing? Oh, it gave me this. Okay, I'll take it. Ta-da! So there's another one. Oh, and I can eat this. Which makes me think I could hear a waddle be already behind it. I'll save you, buddy, don't worry. Boom, got it. So that's gonna be one out of four, I'm guessing? Yeah. And I did notice before, it'll tell you if you got them out of order just by looking at the waddle on the bottom right. So if we pay attention to that, we'll know if we've sort of missed anything when it comes to the waddle at the least. Okay, back up the staircase. Whoa, the ladder. I don't know why I'm calling it a staircase. Now before we take that, is there anything else around here? It sort of looks like there might be something behind. It's not on me. It's a good view of not anything else though. Okay, I think we're good to go. Oh, and we have two new abilities here. You know, compared to my needle at least. I'll go with ice. I feel like we've had a plenty of good time with Cutter recently. 
Oh gosh. Florina? Oh, this is new. I've never seen this boss before. I'm just gonna keep freezing ya. Whoa! Okay, maybe not the best idea. Especially since I feel like I need more practice with the ice ability. I feel like I get hit a lot more often. Come on, keep going. I don't know why I stopped. Oh, that was like an attack. Gotcha. Thought that was more of a visual effect. Oh no. Oh no. Skate away. Skate away. I got it. I got it. Oh, I got hit again. Take quite a bit of a beating here. A little bit closer. That's it. We're freezing you. We still have more than halfway to go. Oh, there we go. Something happened. You are not happy. Watch it. Oh, that's bringing me in. Oh, jeez, she's really tough. Cause it's hard to find a, a spot in time just to like sit there and attack. Cause then she'll go for you. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. The tornadoes, I can maybe dodge. <laughs> this perspective's not the easiest for that. Here you go again. Oh man, I am really not doing well. Might die for the first time here. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Ah! I just need the chance to attack is all. Okay, yeah, then go away. I just need to be a bit more, I guess, conservative with like what we go with. I can only go for a little bit at a time. If I try to get greedy and get a bunch of attacks in, I get hit for it, so. Just gonna keep trying to skate away. I just get a couple of hits in, and then stay back. Oh boy, wow, that was close. I think she's going for another one. She's not. Oh, she's going again, I didn't realize. I thought that she just reached the end of one. Ah, uh, just go Kirby, go. Now she's slowing down. Okay, back up again. I know we're so close to getting her, but she's so close to getting me. Jump over that, then hit with the ice, and then back up. You just gotta not get greedy with it. One more hit. That's it! Okay, we got it! Wow. Okay, you're done. I'm grabbing you. Whoa, what is this? Tornado! That's so cool! Oh gosh, don't fall off the edge. <laughs> that would be so good. I am so low on health, I really need a refill, but this is a new item for us, or ability. We'll get a, a turkey or a chicken or something there. That was nice. So yeah, I guess we have the tornado ability now. That's nice. I like it. Okay, moving forward. Gotcha. That wasn't too bad. Looking for more of the... of the posters. I haven't seen any. Well, I'm keeping an eye out for them. Like, is there any over here? So you can go pretty far up to the side like this. Okay, be careful, I'm running out of puff. There you go. Use a tornado to help me out. What about this button? Whoa, watch it. Okay, there's a waddle dee. Oh, is that timed? That is timed, I gotta go fast. Okay, I'm gonna ignore a couple of people here so I can get up there. And then go, 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 got it. That's gonna be two out of four. So at least we're making good stuff with that happen. I'm still not seeing any other wanted posters. I'm supposed to go there. Aha, I spoke too soon. There's another. Two out of three. So somewhere out there, there's one more waiting for me. And we'll get another capsule. That's good. Oh, and what's up this way? Some extra secret goodies. See, if it has one star above the door, that means you can go back and forth between that door, but if there's three stars, it's a one-way door. What do I do here? Do I just, yeah, I turn NATO over it? I'm a little confused. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, let me try again. It's like that, right? Okay, let's try for it. Whoa, so if I hold the button down, I sort of go a lot faster. So that's three out of four for saving the hidden waddle dees. At least we got that. And there's something up here. A big coin, gladly take it. So, 
what else do we have going on? We got the sword ability here, which I feel like we haven't had in a while. So you know what, we'll try that one. I got rid of those two pretty easily. Oh, we can eat the archway? <laughs> We're gonna glide? Whoa! The arch mouth are gliding around. Where are we going? This is ridiculous. Whoa! All right, yeah, go through the ring. So we can ascend and descend. Oh, we can spin tackle? Oh my goodness. Look out, Star Fox. Kirby is in town. There we go, we got it. We're gonna try to get all the rings. There's a red one. Okay, when they get closer, we need to spin attack. Got them, that was good. Oh no, oh, that hit me. I was looking at the controls. This is so cool though, I feel so free. Okay, let's go to the right because this one has to ring. This is so much fun. Gotta be careful for this guy. Gotcha. And we healed up a little bit. Watch out, watch out. Okay, definitely go to the left. Don't squish me. Tons of food for me. Oh, I see something over this way. What's with the secret? Boom, charging through. So we'll get a bunch of coins for that and a hidden waddle dee. Nice. So that's all four of the hidden waddle dee saved. And I guess we're we're out of here. Where are we going next? This is so cool though. Oh, I think we made it. So what's with the blue star? That's to retry it, I guess. That's neat that they give you that ability. Oh, and here's the final one in poster. I, I see it right over here. Gotcha. So that should be all three of those at the least, which is good because I didn't get the other two at all. I don't know, I looked all over the place. Maybe I, I should retry the thing. Ow. Why did you have to do that? Okay, ready? Get out of here. I don't think it'll be destroying more of the nuts yet. Hmm. I mean, I'm at the end of the level now, so I really don't know. I guess we'll just end the level here and we'll, we'll get at least revealed one of them. There we go. Good job, Kirby. Stage cleared. So let's see, what, what is one of the extra ones I missed? Avoid the spikes in the secret room. Oh. So there's a secret room where I did the tornado and I had to, I guess, do that without getting hit. I messed up the first time. We get some wanted posters as our one capsule and the target switch as the other. Okay, not bad, but we gotta get back into that level and get those other two secrets. The other one is still a mystery to me. But hey, for right now, we do have another level unlocked, the fast flowing waterworks. That sounds tough. Coming up on the end of the main level, though, after that is the boss fight. So just gotta keep at it and I'm sure we'll find more soon. But some extra bonus challenges are popping up here and there. Okay, we're gonna leave that be for now. Let's head back and just scale the cement summit. Whoa, whoa, freeze fire with the ice ability. Okay, I don't know how I did that differently than last time, but I, I freezed her and that worked, okay. I just kept freezing her. I guess once you understand her moves a little bit better, it's a little bit easier to get through that. But wow, that was that was interesting. I didn't even intend to do that there. So glad I could get that out of the way. So I just have to go to the one secret room that was coincidentally pretty close by. Okay, so right up this way, we just passed the checkpoint. There should be this level, or this part of the level. So this is where I need to be careful. I need to get this done without hitting the spikes. Got it, okay. So now that I've done that, avoid the spikes in the secret room, done. So that should be all the lot of these for this level that I missed. Let me pause to make sure after this loading screen. Yep, we're good. So I just gotta get to the end of the level now and make our way out of here. Okay, so there we go. All the waddle dees for the stage. We got them out of the way. So yeah, definitely it seems like as we're moving forward, getting all the waddle dees in one go is proving to be pretty difficult. So I'll try my best to keep up with it, but if not, it's not the end of the world. We just have to replay through the level and get the extras. So there's scale the cement summit complete. Now we have what seems to be the second to last main level, fast flowing waterworks. It looks like a, they want me to head back to town, but we'll do that later. Fast flowing waterworks, guessing a lot of swimming in this level then. All the whirlpools and everything, gonna be a bit of an issue, but we'll handle it. So is there anything behind me before I move forward? I guess not. 
I've been loving this combination though of like nature and city. All these overgrown buildings and infrastructure and such, really need to see. Okay, is there anything under this? Not really. Get rid of this little bug guy. And up here there's something. Extra coins, I'll take them. It's nice because you can move a little bit faster with Tornado. That's never a bad thing. Oh, there's another little sand castle. Ow. Okay, I sort of want a sword ability anyways. I feel like it's easier to attack enemies or something like this. Okay, there's coins waiting for me down there. I'm gonna save that. We'll get rid of that sand castle, which didn't do anything, but always gotta make sure. Okay, we can swim on the water. Oh gosh, the current is rough. Is there anything over here? I guess not. Usually little pockets like that. You'll find secrets, but not this time. All right, go back, go back, go back. Is there anything here? There's a coin. Guess we'll sort of follow the path a little bit. See ya. We'll go into the cement tube. Nice. Grab that cherry, could fill up on health. Oh my, I could definitely go for the waddle dee. <laughs> I guess I could have done that at a different angle. By the way, say the hidden waddle dee's one out of four, actually five this time. Okay, the demands are getting higher and higher, but up here we have a secret waiting for us. Couple more coins, and is that a can of tuna? I suppose so. Oh, and that's a eat three tins of fish, one out of three. So I'll have to be looking all over for Tins of fish. Tons of tins. Anything on top of this one? I guess not. Okay. I guess I'll stay up here for now. We got some tea. There's some milk in the water down there, but I don't really need it. Gotcha. Sort of, need to hit you again. There you go. Nothing hiding in the corner. So some good abilities popping up. We have a lot of options, but I think Sword is a good one to keep with. Pretty reliable with like damage and maneuverability and such. Okay, so what can we do in this room? Oh, I can go under. Very sneaky, which probably means I can do the same thing on this side. Yes, but once again, there really wasn't much. That seems odd, doesn't it? I don't know, it seems like a lot of options for little openings for secrets, but there isn't any. Oh my, okay, uh, I'm gonna charge up. Swing at you. Yeah, I think the sword's out. Maybe the best move here. I guess not, can I even reach these guys? No, no, I fell in the water, okay. That's fine. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know why I keep thinking Kirby can't swim. Like, he obviously can. But my mind is like, I need an ability to swim. It's like, no, Kirby can just naturally swim, ability or not. There we go. A bunch of fish now. Oh, darn. Gotcha. We have half our health left. Oh, I think that was the last one. It was. Okay, can we get blueprints again? You got the chain bomb blueprint. Now you can evolve the bomb ability. Take it to Waddle Dee's weapon shop. We'll do that at the end of today's episode. There is an orange here. I'll take real quick. And I might want the ice ability. Just being able to maneuver over the water. It sounds like it'd be nice at this point. Once again, it makes everything a little bit faster. Now I do need a bomb for this. What about this son? That's a huge coin. Okay, I don't know if we've seen really too many blue coins like that. Aha, here we go. That's gotta open this up, right? There it is. And what's in here then? Ooh, mysterious. It's a boat. And we got the, the mouthful. Again, the, uh, ah, <laughs> the ring mouth. Okay, we have sort of choices on where to go. Oh, am I, I'm supposed to be paying attention. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. But here we go. Center, left, right. Gotcha. 
I'm on limited time here, so it was right, left, center. Let's hope that was correct. So far looking pretty good. Got it, nice. Gotta go right through the alligators or crocodiles, whatever they might be, and I get a hidden waddle That one was intense. Okay, and we're out of here. We'll spit this out, because I don't think I can fit through the door if I don't. Okay, yep, there we go. And I'm going to just keep moving. Oh, I see a capsule hidden behind that little thing. I don't know really what it is. We grabbed it, no problem. Is there anything hidden up here? Nope. Okay, then let's keep going. Because I'm still trying to find two tins of fish. I don't know what the other two challenges are just yet, but we'll be looking for them. Oh, oh, okay. I guess I could have frozen the enemy, or I guess I could have just eaten this up, put it there. <laughs> Maybe that's a simpler answer. Got it, so we'll spit this out now. Head up here and get ourselves another capsule. So that's two down already. Whoa, there's a golden fish. Find the golden fish, okay, there we go. That was cool. I just see a little gleaming fish in the water. That was so neat. So what do we have now? We still need to eat three tins of fish, but I, I guess we had missed something earlier, which is unfortunate, because I looked all over, which probably means it was another challenge kind of thing, because I feel like we've run into a couple of those, like, oh, beat a boss without dying or taking damage or whatever. So where am I putting this then, I wonder? Oh my, that was a bad idea? Sorry, Kirby. See, so yeah, I don't really know if that's what I should be using right now. Right now, I just wanna attack this walrus. There's so much health. Does this ever stop? There you go. Okay, that's gonna raise the platform. There's a waddle over there that needs help. There's a couple of things going on. So let's grab this, son. I'll scoot over. Get up to this thing. I'll see what the deal is. Ooh, there's another tin of fish. So that's two out of three. Still looking for one more along the way. But I think for now, I have to get this on the thing here. There we go. Spit that out. But there's still more. Yeah, there's another Waddle Dee behind that. How do I get that open then? I wonder. There's two buns over here. And there's another staircase. Okay, I think I understand what's going on here. So let's first get rid of you. Got it. Get a mouthful of that thing. Oh gosh, yeah, fall over on him. That's one way to solve it. And I guess we just need to scoot this over. So it's perfectly like that. And that should get us the other Waddle Dee. And is that the last one or the second to last one? It is the second to last one. We still have one more to find. Okay, so going back down, is there anything else around here? I don't see any other possible leads for finding another tin of fish for right now. So hopefully we haven't missed it. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna leave him. <laughs> he isn't going anywhere, I don't think he'll follow me. I just like the ice ability because I can more easily maneuver the water, it feels. Okay, so there is seemingly a couple things happening. But this might just be what I'm supposed to do for the level. Hidden red coin, four fishes out of water. Okay, we're going, there's the tin. Oh, it's really close to the Come on. Right there, I got it. So three out of three for the tins of fish. So I suppose, uh, I'll just press that button. I don't know what that's doing. It's making a little opening. Oh, come on, I thought I jumped far enough for that. That was sort of baloney. Come on, got it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. What was that? I don't know, oh, it was a can. I didn't realize I could spit the cans out. That's pretty useful. 
Okay, so at this point, I think we've found everything except for one missing Waddle and whatever that one secret was, but that's definitely too late. Oh, there he is. Okay, what's the deal here? I can hit this, and that just opens up. Maybe I could just float over? This is real risky. Ah, oh, I'm right under him. Huh. Oh, but there's another button over this way. Here we go. I'm saving you, buddy, don't worry. Gotcha. So five hidden Waddle Dees saved. The most we've had in one level so far, for sure. I think we're good to get out of here. Unfortunately, we will have to replay this level one more time, but whoa, we're going down the sewer pipe. This is so neat. We've washed up on the other side. So it looks like there's a path back here. I think it's just sort of the camera angle, yeah. Okay, well this was a very fun level either way. I'm really liking the, the theme to everything. Even though it is a beach theme, it still has an underlying overgrown city feel too. Either way, we cleared the stage, saved the five hidden model these, eat three tins of fish, and find the hidden golden fish. Now we need to win the battle without falling into the water. Okay, so there was a segment where we were fighting enemies, and I guess I had to not fall in the water for that one. Okay, good to keep in mind. We got Poppy Bros Jr. And, oh, nice. We got Wild Frosty. The mysterious vortex brought Mr. Frosty to the new world too. He arrived shortly before Kirby and immediately joined the Beast Pack. The change in wardrobe must have made it an easy choice. It's tough to be the new guy, but his fellow beasts love working with him. <laughs> well, I'm glad he's fitting in just fine then. Nice. Okay, so we're out of here. So it looks like that's gonna open up the final main level for this world. I'm gonna save that one waddle Don't worry, you won't be gone for long. Whoa, so I need 19, which luckily we do have 19. I love how they'll just knock down the wall like that. They're working together, power and numbers. The tropical terror. Oh, is this gonna be like a wispy woods? Finally, the Waddle Dees helped you open the gate that was blocking your way. Head into the stage and challenge the boss that's guarding this territory. We'll do that soon enough, but we have some bonus challenges being unlocked. And more than that, we have to head back into Fast Flooring Waterworks to find that last thing. Okay, so I believe it's this thing that I have to survive without falling into the water. So hopefully I, I won't be clumsy. I might be, we'll see. These guys were tough. I was trying to hit them and then I accidentally fell in the water because the sword just didn't reach. So I think with the bomb, we're in a much better spot. Okay. Uh, I think that's gonna get it, okay. And then how am I gonna get this guy? I can't quite reach him. I'm just gonna put bombs everywhere. I wanted them ass in him, right? Okay, so, don't get hit. Just trying not to get knocked into the water or anything ridiculous. No! Whoa, that was close. That was really close. So even this is proven to be a bit tough. Okay, just toss it right on top of him. Well, the same thing for this guy. Gotcha. Okay, I think I did it. Yeah, there you go, win the battle without falling to the water. Glad to have it. I wonder if I can just quit the level from here with this. Completed missions will not be safe. See, I gotta, no, I didn't, I meant to cancel. Okay, I'll do it again. Sorry, it's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'll go do it again and then we'll just complete the level normally. Okay, so there's the last Waddle Dee for that level. <laughs> Finally got it done, which means we just have this last main level right over here. Like I said, the Tropical Terror. Let's go for it. So this is gonna be another boss fight. I'm a little bit worried about it, but we'll do everything we can to take it on and hopefully do well. Oh man. Oh, it's silent. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, there's a ma maximum tomato. I definitely need this. So if this is gonna be a boss fight, obviously we're gonna try our best to beat it without taking any damage. I'll try the chakram this time, I think. Because the chakram we have upgraded. So we'll go for that one. But we'll try to not take any damage like we had to for the previous boss fight. Whoa, okay, wait a minute. Hold on, can we just take this leave? A pretty easy fight, huh? Oh no. Could it be? <laughs> Unfriendly fronds, tropical woods. Whoa. So finally, we do have a wispy woods variant here. Whoa, so I can break into those. So I could also, you know, sort of totally miss them. 
It's not really doing much damage to you, is it? Okay, but once it gets back to me, it is. Okay, toss that back over. Dodge little puff balls. It's so weird, because Wispy Woods is very typically the first boss, or whatever Wispy Woods variant there is. It's usually the first boss in a Kirby game. Not this time, though. That's neat. We've already taken damage in this fight, though, unfortunately, so if that is one of the re requirements, it sort of sinks, because I've messed that up. But this might be easier just to not have a copy ability, just eat these things up and send them back at them. Oh, man. Oh, I was not expecting that for some reason. Just gotta throw it, and then back up. It's too too close, or not close enough. So I couldn't just let it sit there and do damage like that, but it just isn't very much. So you gotta wait for it just to turn rainbow, then grab it, and then throw another. It's getting all worked up, though. Again, she's about halfway down now. Gotcha. Oh, he's not happy. Ah! Okay, we got sent way back. I'm gonna jump over that. And if I throw those, I mean, they do some decent damage just tossing it like that. He's trying to hold something up. Whoa, whoa. What's with the roots? I guess I'm destroying those now? Oh yeah, I am destroying them. Destroy tr Tropic Woods' roots. Gotcha, so that's one of them. Glad I could get something on play. I guess I don't have to destroy all of them. Ah, I gotta be careful here. I am running low on health. Okay, try that again. That wasn't bad. Jump over that stuff. Throw another one. Watch out for the roots. Okay, so I gotta get the cutter on this side. That did some more damage. Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. It's getting lower, though. It might just be worth, yeah, just going up to his face and throwing some. I might be doing this the more difficult way, you know? Because that's working out quite well. Wow, that did a lot. Just stand right here, and boom, we got him. Okay, so holding it out like that, maybe not the best, but it doesn't matter now. I love his little goatee. I'm so sorry. I had to do it. I hope you understand. But there we go. We took out Tropical or Tropic Woods, and we get another blueprint. You got the Noble Ranger Blueprint. Now you can evolve the Ranger ability. Take it to Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop. Which I'll do soon enough, but for right now, let's go and save our Waddle Dee friends and find out what missions we need to do to complete this. <laughs> I love Kirby's dance. Good job, stage cleared. So Destroy to Tropic Woods' Roots was one of them. Clear without using a copy ability. I feel like that's pretty doable because there's a lot of things that sort of eat up and shoot back at him. So we'll try that next. But still, that was great. Able to technically clear another world, something else is gonna open up. Is that a Ferris wheel in the background? Whoa. So we get the normal star for Tropical Terror. And now it brings us back to the Waddle Dee Town, which is great and everything. We'll come back here later in today's episode, though. Oh, look at that. New buildings have been opened up. The 50 Waddle Dees you've saved worked together to rebuild Waddle Dee liveries. <laughs> That's so cute. Enter present codes to get special items. Huh. I have to keep that in mind. The 50 Waddle Dees you saved worked together to build Kirby's house. It's your home away from home. That's also adorable. And ooh, we got a little place to eat too. The 60 Waddle Dees you've saved worked together to rebuild the Waddle Dee Cafe. How fancy. Wonder what's on the menu. I guess we can see over here. You can now play Waddle Dee Cafe Help Wanted. Work fast to serve a line of hungry locals. That sounds like fun. I'll have to try that at some point. The bomb ability can now be evolved. The needle ability can now be evolved. And then the ranger ability can now be evolved. Pay a visit to Waddle Dee's weapon shop. I plan on it. Oh, who's this? Wise Waddle Dee has arrived in town. He'll give you tips to find missing blueprints and a whole lot more. Gotcha. So there's a lot to do around here, including talking to Elf One. Say, what do you think the Beast Pack wants the Waddle Dees for anyway? I had just gotten to know all of them when the pack arrived and started capturing everyone. We're far from the Beast territory, so we thought building a town here would keep us safe. Thank goodness you came along, Kirby. I agree. 
I really don't know what the beasts want, but hopefully we can get to the bottom of it. A lot of these work really hard. I can't believe they rebuilt this town. Okay, hello. How do you do? They call me the wise Waddle After I landed here, I found this I found this mysterious book. It lists the locations of undiscovered blueprints. It also collects high scores and tons of other info from all over the world. If you'd like to know more, I'd be happy to share. You haven't missed any blueprints thus far. If I read about a new blueprint's location, I'll help you find it. So far, the number of times you've inhaled objects during your adventure is 120. Globally, the total count of for objects held is 195,263,304. Okay, so I've only made a tiny little addition to that number. So far, you've saved 90 Waddledees, and the combined total saved Waddledees over all the world is 80,663,550 Waddledees. That is a lot of Waddledees. Would you like to hear more? Uh, for now, we'll, we'll leave it for later. Anytime you'd like to learn more, I'll be more than happy to share. Okay, so I would like to see that world number grow as we continue the series, but for right now, I want to go back to the world map because I want to finish Tropical Woods. That's my number one thing now. Let's get rid of Tropical Woods' missions and then we'll come back after doing all the bonus stuff as well. Whoa, is this gonna be like a whole amusement park? Yes it is! So the next episode we'll be exploring when Daria remains. Wow, you defeated the boss and opened up a new area. An area I cannot wait to go to in the next episode. That looks like a blast. The first level being Welcome to Wondaria. Wow, okay, heading back in then. I do need to heal, but I was hoping that, you know, just completing the level would heal me. Um, the Tropical Terror. We need to clear without using a copy ability. So let's go for it. Okay, so as we're heading in here, I'll also grab this Maxim Tomato that I know is over here. We'll, we'll drop this, because I need to do without a copy ability anyway. So there we go. Now the last time, the other two missions were to defeat the boss without taking damage, and I believe defeat it under a certain time frame, maybe like two or three minutes. So I'm hoping that that's the same deal here. So we'll try to defeat Tropical Woods quickly. So we've already seen this cutscene. I think we can just skip it. There we go. And let's go for it. So things are gonna be a little bit difficult, or different at the least. Ooh, there we go. Send that right back at you. Oh, but there you're sending that right back at me. Okay. I'm just gonna throw whatever I got at you. I just have to be careful. Oh no, that's not there anymore. Gotcha. Oh no, watch out for the coconuts. Oh, I didn't grab that one in time. I am taking a lot of damage. So definitely the one damage quest is gonna have to be some other time, but I'm trying to do at least, you know, no copy ability. Do it quickly. But hey, we're at least learning his moves a bit better, so it should be easier the next time. Well, he's already halfway down, so we're making a lot more progress than the last time we did this. Each time, you know, just get a little bit better. Oh gosh, yeah, this is where it gets tricky. Oh, I missed that one? Darn, okay. Grab that, throw that at him, pick this up, or not. I can't really tell. Oh, I got a couple of them, so that's gonna do big damage. Picking up multiple will lead to more hits. Gotcha. There's another one. Fine with me. Here come all the air puffs. Two of them. Oh gosh. Watch it. How did that bounce off of them? Okay, that was a little weird. We got one left. Come on. Grab the coconut, spit it right back out, and boom, we got him. So let's see if that was under any kind of time frame, if that'll give us anything. But there we go, at least we defeated him another time, this time definitely without copy ability. So clear without using a copy ability. But it looks like that's it. Darn, so we still have two more missions left to figure out. Stage cleared. Clear within two minutes. Oh no, we did get it, okay. I just didn't say anything. Clear without taking any damage, so I was right about that one. We gotta go back in then and try that out. Okay, I've been very focused in. All I've been doing recently here is just using this the way we did towards the end of the first time. And I've just, you know, I've memorized this moves well enough that I know what's gonna happen and sort of like the signs of like, you know, like watch out for the shadows of the coconuts and such. And 
the timing for when he puffs out all the air balls. So it was actually pretty easy to do this time. So there we go. Didn't take any damage. We got through him really quick. Not too bad. So even if I didn't get the two minutes before, I definitely would have gotten at that time. So, okay. Tropical woods, fully cleared. That definitely took a bit more effort, but I'm glad we got it out of the way. So at this point, that's gonna be all the main levels done. I wanna do all the bonus challenges now. We'll have to fly around to make sure if there's any hidden ones, we get those too. And then we'll do all the bonus missions. Then I wanna go back to town and buy a bunch of, you know, the capsules, explore town a little bit, just sort of see all the new stuff. That'll be fun. There's a lot to do. So there we go, all Waddle Dee saved. So I did wanna check. You saved all the Waddle Dees in Everbay Coast. Good to know. And we get a nice big golden star. So if I take a look at the stage list, you can see with, uh, how do I see Treasure Road? Zero out of eight. So like obviously I got seven out of seven here. I need to find two hidden ones. So let's look around the world map and see if I can't stumble across them. Cause I'm sure if there's any interesting landmarks that just don't have them yet, that's usually what we're looking for. Hmm. So this is where it becomes a previous world again. But over this way, I'm already spotting something. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, search here. We found some coins, not too much then. But right here is a bonus one. We found a hidden portal to a treasure road. Let's see what's inside. We will soon enough. Oh, there's one more thing to search for, more coins. I don't think it'd be so close to the level here. But there's gotta be another one nearby. Not over the coral or anything. Not over that way. So what could we be missing? It has to be maybe this? No? Aha, here we go. Yeah, in this little mystery, mysterious cave, we find a portal to a treasure road once again. Okay, so that's gonna be all the hidden ones. So we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning and start knocking those out. So the first one I see is that one right there. So let's go for this. Hammer Road, hit the stakes. So that's gonna be 45 seconds as a requirement time. Gotta be Hammer Kirby. Let's go for it. These are always fun. They're always a different change of pace, right? Ready, go. Just gotta smack that. Oh, the stuff is gonna come down. When it comes to these enemies, I have a feeling it's just good to spin at them when I jump. Got it. Oh, that was good. Defeating all the enemies isn't really necessary though, so probably shouldn't, oh no, worry about that. That was a big mistake. Okay, I'm over that. Going this way with the bunnies. Oh, that was a little weird. Oh no, 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 Kirby, Kirby. Got it. Out of the way, out of the way, come on. The bunnies are coming to get me. Just keep running, Kirby. We're almost at the end. And got it. I don't know if that was in time though. I definitely made a couple mistakes for that one. 52 seconds, darn. So I was seven seconds behind. Definitely not where we need to be. So it's weird that there's no retry button. I have to go all the way back out and then all the way back in. Maybe I missed it. By the way, we did get the star. So that's six of them so far. I do need as many as I can get because of course uh, we have a lot of abilities to upgrade. But let's go back in, I wanna get that target time. Okay, this time I made way better time with it, I believe. So let's see if we got it. I really think that had to be 46, no way. I don't know, I feel like I got so fast at that one. I need this no retry button at all. I don't know why they do that. It just takes so much time then to go and give it another go. Oh well, let me try again. Oh, I just barely did it that time. There is like zero room for mistakes on that. That is crazy. 44.91, that was running. I don't know if there's like a move I'm missing for hammer that makes you move a little faster or something. We'll have to ch check in with Waddle Dee on that one wherever we get the hammer upgrade. Cause geez, that was so close. But there we go, we got it out of the way. There's another one over here. This is Drill Treasure. Dig and destroy, drill trial. I got a minute and 10 seconds for this one. The drill is actually an ability we just unlocked in today's episode. That's pretty neat. Be able to master that here in Treasure Road will be interesting. Okay, there's a couple of buttons waiting under that one. So I do have more time with this one, luckily. I can't, Quake Surge. Okay, that's new. 
So I have to loop around and then everything inside will explode. Okay, so I, I probably will have to do this again just because I've never done that before. Gotcha. Okay, got a good couple of them there. <laughs> okay, that was cool. But it wasn't enough, or no, it was. So what's going on with this thing? I don't know. The higher raised platform, I suppose. So once again, there's that quake surge. So weird. Uh, oh, come on, did I really go right over you? There, get him out of here. Ah, oh, darn. This is tough. I really don't like this camera angle sometimes. It can be hard to tell where Kirby is or where the enemies are. But there we go, we got that done. Is there more? There's definitely more. There's spikes all over this one. This one seems so tricky. I don't know how we're gonna do this in a minute and 10 seconds. It certainly takes some experimenting. Darn, he jumped out of it. If you go for too long, Kirby does eventually jump out, which is just weird, because I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to do what the game's telling me to do here. It's just not working out so well. Come on, come on. See, once again, you just get barely any space to do it. This is the one, man, we've wasted so much time. There's no way this is gonna be the one. Darn, and there's still more enemies after that. Okay, ow. There we go. Okay. And to get you, I think I just need to drill under and do this. Gotcha. Jeez, that took so much time, and I still got hit by that thing. The last laugh by the little sea urchin. Man, oh man. Okay, well actually, did I do it? No, I didn't. Okay, for a second I got it mixed up. All right, so I gotta do that again. I honestly didn't take as much time as I thought I did. I thought that was over two minutes for sure. So hopefully now that I know what to do, it'll be easier to get 110. Okay, I think I got it. If I could just turn around in time. Okay, come on, come on. Got it. Oh, that was a tough one. That one took a lot of tries. But I think I did it. 107. Whew. I think this is a target time. I only get to like 50 extra coins. I don't think you really need it for that much. Only if you just like to check boxes, I suppose, which I guess I do. <laughs> so there we go. There's that done. Um, let's try again, though. There's more, plenty more to do. So let's try out this one. Normal treasure. Sweet success. Invincible rampage. Okay. For this one, we need to do under 30 seconds. So I'll give that my best try. Oh, whoa. So I can't really fight any of these guys because I don't have any abilities. So I just have to sort of weave in between them and hope they don't get me because trying to eat them up will just make them more angry. And it's sort of a waste of time anyways. Come on, go, go, go. Almost there, almost there. Boom. That should be all of them. Oh my. Oh, but now I'm gonna be invincible. Do I have to get rid of every enemy though is the question? Is that the whole idea? I guess we'll find out. Come on. Uh, gotcha. I don't know if I'm wasting time or not by doing that, or if the goal, yeah, I didn't even need to, so I'm not gonna get the uh, the time because of that. Gonna be like 33 seconds. Because I thought I had to destroy them. I didn't, so I'll try that one more time. Shouldn't be too bad, now that I understand the concept. But, you know, that's one more done. And we get another star for it. So we'll definitely be able to upgrade all of our abilities later, which will be exciting. So all you really have to do here is then just grab the candy and charge through. If you do this, then you should be able to get it. Yeah, I have six more seconds to run over and get it. I thought I had to defeat all the enemies, but you don't. Okay. So there's that one properly completed. But I don't blame you if you don't want to go for the extra times. For the very minimal amount of coins you get for it, it just probably isn't worth it. But I like to complete you know, games as much as I can in these kind of series. So that's what I'm trying my best for you guys. But we have Sword Treasure now. Slash and Slice, Sword Trial. Let's go for it. For this one, we need to do a minute. So hopefully that won't be too bad. But if it's anything like the Hammer Trial, it could be pretty difficult. So we need to get it by, by the time the clock says two minutes. Okay, got you. Oh, how did that hit me? That was weird. Okay, first get rid of you. There we go, that was good. 
Whoa, I started walking before there was even a platform there. Sword guy. Not too bad. Oh gosh. I wonder if I'm supposed to charge up and swing for these guys when they come at me like that? This doesn't feel like there's enough time. Wow! Okay, that hurt. That's gonna be eating into my time quite a lot. But we gotcha. I have 20 seconds left, give or take. And this is the last guy. Whoa, it's Wild Edge. How am I gonna beat Wild Edge in 10 seconds? Whoa, I don't think I have enough time. Jeez. Okay, uh, behind him. Come on. Oh, I'm out of time, unfortunately. But we weren't too far off then. Or 159. Yeah, I was f four seconds behind there, I think. So I think giving that another go shouldn't be too bad. 103 on my first time through. I think we can get it next time for sure then. Okay, I think I'm getting him. One more time, there we go, there we go. I got four seconds now. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Oh, <laughs> that was scary, but we got it just barely. So I think also charging up the sword for certain segments there definitely helps, but we got it. Phew. So that was, we have over 5,000 coins now too, so we have a lot to spend on. I'll definitely have to do that later. But for now, gotta focus on more of these bonus missions because there's still quite a few to go. Uh, starting with this one, Tornado Treasure. Up and over, across the spike road. Have to complete it in under 30 seconds. So hopefully we get that done. We're getting to the point of the game where they're all difficult enough that the chances of me getting them done in the first try are always very low. Okay. That sort of worked, but also didn't. It's with us as B and B again, but that sort of makes me stuck in place. Yeah, well, it doesn't make me stuck in place, but it makes me a lot slower. I've never been a super big fan of the tornado ability like in general for Kirby games. And it's not bad here, but it definitely is a little bit to get used to. Ah, darn. Okay, I let go at the wrong time. It's always sort of a very wild ability that's hard to control. Oh no, I definitely timed that incorrectly. But maybe I could just keep pushing, keep pushing. I don't think I did 30 seconds. I don't know what the clock started on, but at least we got to the end. 42 seconds, well, that was a lot longer than it felt. Okay, so I'll try that one again. This time I hope I get under 30 seconds. Might take a couple of tries. But hey, we're up to 10 stars. Oh, I just barely did that one in time. I think I had like a fraction of a second left. Yeah, 29.74, that's as close as it gets more or less. Okay. We got it done, so some extra coins for us. Okay, so I'm gonna backtrack to the left a little bit because I think there were still a couple of challenges we've yet to conquer over here. We got that one done. See, there's one over here and then two more to the right, and then we're all finished up. So Vile, Volcano, Fire, Treasure. Light them up, Lantern, Switches. Let's go for it. So under a minute for this one. Do everything I can to get through them then. These worlds are really long. It does take us a lot of time to get through them. So we have to light up all these switches. If that makes sense, I'm going to the right instead. I thought I was going to the left. There's one. Oh, I missed. There's the other. Okay, got it. Gotta watch out for you. Can you please not? Aiming it could be a bit difficult sometimes. Why did Kirby face that way? I have no clue. He just turned around for no good reason. Okay. Once again, the controls are just so wonky sometimes. Got it. Now we're going this way. I am taking so much damage from just falling around. Oh my. This is not gonna be easy. Darn, I just barely missed that one. I think I'm gonna run out of time here. Ah, uh, no, come on, please. Got it. Ah, uh, I just barely ran out of time. I'm, I think, yeah, three or four seconds behind. Okay, I know what to do a little bit better now, though. So hopefully I can try this one again and get it, but geez, I can just never get them on the first try today, can I? Which, I'm, I mean, I know that's a lot to ask for, but it would make it a lot easier. <laughs> it's always because it's so close, you know, if I just didn't make one or two mistakes. But okay, it is what it is, let's go again. Okay, I think I got it this time. Yeah, we have a ton of time to get over there. 
just like that, and there you go. Definitely a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, not too bad. So, 51.51, that's cool. A couple more left, we can do it. We're chipping through them, we're making good progress, so it's good to get them out of the way. So I think that's six done, there's eight in total. So let's go and tackle the seventh one right over here. This is Chakram Cutter Treasure. Fling Twirl Return, hit the switches. In a minute or under, let's give it a try. So at this one we gotta use the Chakrams, which I'm still getting used to, so this might be a little tricky. Cause yeah, I don't know how that works. I guess you just press both of them at, so you have to press B twice, I understand now. I'm gonna jump over you guys, cause why not? Got it. So I need to do the same thing facing off to the side, so. Got both of those buttons, and then both of these. Why are you facing that way, Kirby? Kirby does that sometimes, I don't know if it's my controller or what, but he just turns around, whenever he feels like it. Ah, oh, no, no, darn. That would have been it too. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here, we have 20 seconds left though. Oh my gosh, there's still so much more. What do I do here? Uh, I guess that, geez, this is so tricky. There's so much happening. Okay, I got all those. And then this one, I got all of them. Five seconds left to get over there. Four, three, two, it's gonna be close. I don't think I have enough time. Oh, <laughs> no, it was 59.89, so I was so close. <laughs> Yikes. But that was with some pretty serious mistakes, too, so I think trying it again should be no sweat. Man, that was, that was a little tough, though. Okay, I think I have to have this time. Even now, the time is actually a little tight. We got it, though, 106. That was really tough. Sometimes the cutters and Kirby just doesn't work the way you want it to, especially in a very stressful, Time tent situation. We got it. We've earned a lot of coins from this. Like we passed 5,000, now we're at 5,400. Certainly getting somewhere. So this is the last challenge up here. Thank goodness these wear on you after a while. The stairs mouth treasure. We gotta do it in under a minute 45. So this will certainly be an interesting one. Just give it a go. The ones with the custom, or I guess like the whatever it's called, the mouth abilities like this are always neat though. The mouthful. Okay, I need to fall over to squish that. And then, while it's like that, we need to spit it out, yep. And I guess just press both at the same time. That should be good to get us through. Now this one, obviously a bit trickier. I need to put that there. Wait, why not? What, why did it? I just want it right there. That's so weird. Okay, it doesn't let you do that. So that's sort of the, the time consuming thing about this is sort of solving the puzzle. I can't get, oh, okay. So that's not how the pieces fall together here. So I will figure it out. It's just a matter of solve the puzzle and then we have to, once we solve it, I'm sure it'll be faster to actually do it quickly. Okay, and this is what we have to hobble over real quick. Spit that out. And does this show the time here? 145. I don't know what our starting time was though, so isn't so helpful. Go, go, go. Get that one. We're good. Okay, so knowing what I now know, I think we want to spit that out there. Eat this one up. I don't know though. This still feels tricky. Perhaps not. Uh what do I do here? <laughs> There's so much. Like that doesn't seem all that like what I'm supposed to do. I could go over here and get this one to the right. There's just so many buttons it needs to press. Okay, fall over. And we're going to, excuse me. Okay. So this one I want I guess it doesn't matter too much. I need to squish this, because I don't know if the other staircase will be able to in their current angle. This is way more than a minute 45. <laughs> way more. But geez, you gotta solve the puzzle first before you really, that's where all the times come from. Okay, so that'll go to the left over here, and then that over there. I'm sure there's a way more efficient way to do this, but 
I wish you could also spit it out faster for the sake of the, the speed element. But you can't. But hopefully now that I sorta of know what I'm doing here, it should be easier to do it the next time. Got it, go through. And that's the end of it. That definitely was not a minute 45, but maybe, maybe time went by faster because I was stressed. Nah, two minutes and 11 seconds. But once again, now that I know the solution of the puzzle, it should be at least a little bit more efficient. But hey, that's technically all of them completed. We got all the stars. We just gotta go back in to get the time. But still, it's good to get that out of the way. Okay, so I got it done this time. It was just about knowing the puzzle. I did also notice that you can hop out of the stairs faster. Instead of holding Y, just press the minus button and you can pop out right away. So that helps a lot too. So there we go. That should be every challenge treasure road thing on the second world done with the time. So yeah, we did pretty good in today's episode then if you ask me. It took a lot of effort, but we got there nonetheless. So if we take a look at our list, you can see nine out of nine, 10 out of 10. We got all 47 Waddle Dees here on Everbay Coast. Then here, all eight levels with their times completed. Good stuff, good stuff. So, with that out of the way, we are going to head back to Waddle Dee Town, and we're gonna wrap some stuff up here. I wanted to check out some of the, st the towns, or the, the buildings. I wanted to finish up more of our volume and such. So there's a lot I can do. Hi guys. Hey Kirby, I think one of your copy abilities is ready to be evolved. Yes, so that's the first thing I'm going to do, is evolve some of the abilities, because that's definitely something we need for the coming episodes. So first off, we have the Crash one, new in stock, I just added the crash ability, enjoy. New stock, I just added the hammer ability, enjoy. Then over this way, new stock, I just added the tornado ability, and I think this is the last one. New stock, I just added the drill ability. All right, so a bunch of new abilities in today's episode, and look at this, wow, you have so many new blueprints to give me. All right, let me get my tools ready, then we'll get this evolution started. So, thanks for waiting. The ranger ability can now be evolved into noble ranger. And the bomb ability can now be evolved into chain bomb. And over here, the needle ability can be evolved into cutter or clutter needle. Cool, so we'll definitely upgrade those right away. Over here, let's get to the ranger. Time for some, okay, okay here, here we go. No, noble ranger blueprint, let's evolve that, gotcha. So it's really not that expensive. And he's on it. <laughs> Look at him go. So our ranger is gonna get new and improved. Very nice, whoa, the ranger ability has evolved into the noble ranger. We're dual wielding, we got a fuzzy hat. Can things be any better? I love it, whoa! <laughs> get charged up too. Boom, that's so cool, it's like a rapid fire. Hold down B to charge up a powerful ranger blast that can pierce through enemy defenses. Oh, also, you know those target switches that float in the air? Ranger is the only ability that can hit them. Okay, well good to know. Over this way we have the upgrade to bomb, which will be the chain bomb blueprint. So let's evolve that. Good to go. So the chain bomb will definitely be an interesting one. I love the visual upgrades to them as well. That's just like a favorite thing for me. Ta-da, whoa, the bomb ability has evolved into Chain Bomb. I like the hat now. Whoa, they're like electric. Looking good. The Chain Bomb ability's attack power will increase if you place bombs near each other to form a chain. Bigger, longer chains means bigger, badder booms. Okay, so, whoa, I see what you mean. Okay, that's too far. But like that, that's so interesting. Okay, definitely keep that in mind. And it looks like there's a room to the right. I didn't realize that before. But let's lastly check out the needle upgrade of the clutter needle blueprint. Let's evolve that. It's our last evolution today. Let's get to it. Excited for the visual upgrade for this one too. Here it comes. Whoa, it didn't really is cluttered. The needle ability has evolved into the clutter needle. We got all short, sorts of spiky things there. Okay, so whoa, this is ridiculous. With the needle ability, you can extend your roll a bit by picking up enemies and blocks as you go. 
Let go of B to throw stuck objects and enemies in front of you as powerful projectiles. The needle ability will also let you roll through strong winds. It's so versatile. Yeah, I like it. And it's now ridiculous. It has a rocket ship and a bubble bee sting. What's over here though? Oh, hello, Mr. Sandbag. Okay, so I could beat him up just to test out some damage. Can I actually defeat him? I mean, his health bar is going down. It looks like Kirby, but just a sandbag version. And what happens if I just keep sitting here until his health gets to zero, I wonder? Now I'm really curious, I need to know the answer. Come on, keep going, keep going. He's almost there. It's a tiny little sliver off, maybe he'll explode. Maybe he'll get mad at me, I don't know, this is a little scary. We got it, oh and he just explodes. And then another one pops up. All right, see ya. Thank you for your service, Mr. Sandbag. So I think we're good to head out of here. Take a look around the rest of the town. Because of course some new buildings opened up, like we have this restaurant. This is the Waddle Dee Cafe help wanted. Hey Kirby, got a sec? Now that Waddle Dee Cafe is open, I'm looking to hire some help. It's just a part-time gig. I don't suppose you're looking to start a career in food service, are you Kirby? Okay, so as you can see, there's a soul gig and a cob cake. I think I'm gonna save this for another episode or maybe even for later on after the main game is done just because we've spent a lot of time today getting stuff done and there's still more to do. Welcome to the Waddle Dee Cafe, the coziest little bistro in town. You can grab a bite here and recover your health. We sell all kinds of tasty treats. Think you'll need a snack later on? You can order fruit here and take it to go. You'll bring that to go order into stages as a stock item. Then you can save it until you're in a pinch. That sounds nice. You can only carry one stock at a time though, so just keep that in mind. So Kirby, what can I get you? So they have the car mouth cake, recover some of your health. The Kirby burger, recover some of your health. Energy drink, recover a lot of your health. And then finally the Maxim tomato, recover all of your health. It's not too expensive to hold a Maxim tomato, so might as well. Maxim tomato, got it, that'll be 100 coins. Here you go. Would you like to eat this here to go? Um, Take it to go. This is so adorable. So I guess we can just hold that, it's on the top left. Thanks, you'll hold it to your to, hold your to-go order as a stock item. When you need to pick me, wanna, when you need to pick me up, hold down X. Sounds good, what's up here? Just a nice little place to eat, of course. Get to venture around a little bit on the roofs too. So what's going on with this place, Sam? Oh, this is where we can redeem codes, Waddle D deliveries, or Waddle D deliveries. Hey there, this is Waddle deliveries. We bring delivery presents right to your door. Just enter any present codes you find and we'll ship the related presents and drop them by your house. In and drop them by your house, okay. Speaking by speaking of codes, there are a few present codes hidden right here in town. See if you can find them. Also, some present codes are shared through online announcements. We can hop online to claim those. I'll definitely have to look out for them and wanna see how it works? Sure you do. I hit a present code on the wall of the house from across us. Okay. Go check that wall and try to find it. Do I just attack the wall? Any present codes you find in town can be entered and claimed offline. Pretty nifty, huh? Oh wait, I should have asked this first. Do you already have a present code you'd like to enter? No. Thanks very much. Hope to see you again soon. So let's take a look. I don't see anything on the wall. Weird. You guys have any idea? What if I drop the ability? Oh, something is written on this wall. Let's see, first password. Is this a hidden present code? I guess it could be. Let's go and talk to him and enter that house code. Open the wall of deliveries, you can enter present code. Yep, let's see that. So it was first password. Okay, go ahead and enter your present code. <laughs> he brings out a little pen. Okay, so let me enter, it was all caps. Okay, let's see if that works. Aha, that code checks out. Your delivery present is already on its way. Look for it in front of your house. Ooh, so we'll go check out our house next, son. Ooh, it's a, it's a nice little present wrapped up in a bow and everything. Thank you very much, Waddle Del Deliveries. So let's open it up. What do we have inside? A delivery present arrived with the present code first password. Get 100 star coins. So I guess we made back our Maxim tomato. So we're back over 4,000 coins. Let's just go into Kirby's home. Kirby's house. You can read a book. 
Whoa, and look at this, you can see all of his past adventures and stuff. That's so neat. Okay. And what about over this way? We could just take a nap if we wanted to. Oh, it's so adorable. He fell off the bed. Okay, I think that's everything around here, right? From what I can tell. Okay, that was so cute though. I'm losing my mind over it. So, oh, there's a uh, bandana waddle dee up here even. Can I go down the chimney? Oh, I can! Santa Curvy. That's one way to enter. It doesn't seem to do much, but that's neat. All right, hey, Bandana Waddle Dee. If you want a second player to join you, just call me anytime. Okay, so he doesn't have anything new to say. No, I know, I know. Did the Waddle Dee said they really appreciate your help, Kirby? I'm always willing to help you. Yep. I want to see what's behind you, though. A big coin. Well, there you go. I can't wait to see this town expand more as we get more Waddle Dees in, but at the same time, I don't see any other buildings. Maybe at some point, though, something will be added here or something like that. Either way, I wanted to spend the rest of today's episode going over this way and opening more gacha machines, because we have volume one still. I don't know when we get volume two, but there are only 10 coins each, they're not very expensive, and we might get new stuff like a woofy, a common beast that can be found all over the new world. They're pretty cute, but they have a dangerous wild side. They'll growl and jump at anyone who crosses them. A whole bunch of these critters attack the waddledees. Funny, you'd think they get along. Okay, so we'll just open, I don't know how many, maybe a good chunk of them, but we got a tangerine, which we've already had. I don't know if we can do anything with the duplicates. Red star coin is new. What else do we get? Ooh, this is not new. We've already got a drab hog. Hothead. See, now we're starting to get a lot of duplicates, which is a little bit uninteresting. Ooh, Bernard. This uppity pup is an expert marksman. Pew, pew who's quick on his feet as he patrols the new world. His eyes are hidden under his hat, but that doesn't mean it seemed to affect his aim. He also has an oppressive sniffer that can track prey near or far. I like it. Okay, next up, whoa! Storage mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire set of lockers into his mouth. Wiggle and thrash until you tip over. Hey! We'll put this behind the lockers. <laughs> okay, let's keep opening. Oh, nice! We got a fire Kirby. This ability is hot, hot, hot. Light fuses, burn through obstacles, and toast your enemies with the power of a raging fire. Run, jump, then attack to blast forward as a fireball. We we'll get the target switch we've already had. Yeah, get a lot of duplicates now. I guess the farther we get in, the more we collect, the more duplicates we'll find. We get the water tank, that's new. The arrow sign, not the most exciting things. Oh, we get a duplicate Guramondo. Wow. Hopefully we get a tropical wood soon. That'd be nice. Watermelon, okay, we'll go for three more. Here's three, green star coin. Watermelon again. And Kabu. Okay, we at least finished off with something new then. That's nice. Yeah, it doesn't let me choose a different volume. So I guess we're still working through that volume and such. But you can see we're getting a lot closer. We have more than we're missing, 51 out of 79. But it doesn't say anywhere what I can do with the duplicates, right? But I can display them in the house. This figure will not be displayed inside Kirby's house. You can display up this three figures at once. So I could put it away too, this figure's not been put away. So if I wanted to display the bosses, or at least the one boss, let's go for this one, Splain House. Pretty cool, so we'll take a look at that later. So yeah, we did a lot in today's episode. We 100% completed Everbay Coast and all the missions along with it. We explored town a little bit, we bought some more stuff. It was a lot of work, and I'm sure we'll have more to do and accomplish in the next episode of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.